In this video, VR in the form of the Oculus Quest takes on its ultimate opponent, this fitness fanatic who thinks that you cannot use VR to exercise. Um, I'm skeptical, if I'm honest. I'm, I'm open to sort of see whether it is something that's legitimate or not, but it's kind of like, just a bit like waving your arms around, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put this back in the league of um, We Granny Fitness. We Granny Fitness. You so you can stand there and just go. Yeah. So, so far, VR, nil. nil fitness nil, man. Nil for VR. One. Swing away. Uh, no. So, time for challenge two. First impressions is a bit harder than the other one. Yeah. That's all we like to hear. Straight away it was clear that this game was definitely working our Northern Adonis a lot harder than the last one. This is after all a game that many people use as part of their daily exercise routine. They say though don't they, if, it's, if, you, if you're working out or having a decent workout you shouldn't be able to have a conversation mm. or hold a conversation. If you're able to talk while you're doing it you're not right. really working out. If you don't like do anything at all, workout wise, that would be something that I reckon you'd probably feel pretty knackered off. So at this point he probably thinks he's won, he's had two challenges and he's passed both of them easily. Now, whenever VR fitness comes up in conversation, there's always one game that I, without fail, will always mention. That game is, in my opinion, the daddy of all VR fitness games and the only boxing game worth purchasing if you actually want to do something that resembles boxing. There's no superpowers, no stamina bars, no forced quick time moments. It's just you holding the controllers, punching, blocking, dodging until one of you hits the canvas. Trust me, this game is going to kill it. And he has no idea. And I might have bumped up the difficulty a bit. <laughs> he had a quick go against the sparring partner, which I meant to put on easy by accidentally put on custom that it made him a bit tough. He didn't knock him out, but he did kill the stool. <laughs> <laughs> He's just tried the sparring partner and he thinks it's going to kill him. I'm looking forward to this. It's going to kill him. I think he likes it. So I decided to let Stu fight an endurance level ugly Joe over five three minute rounds. He's obviously never played the game before, so I know that he's going to find it tough. Right, it's time. Here we go. Now this is one of the top calorie burning games on the Virtual Reality Institute of Health and Exercise at 8 to 10 calories and apparently it's the equivalent of rowing. Using the fitness tracker YUV I found the calorie burn was a lot higher than that but it might have been inaccurate. I'm not worried about calories today, we're simply using the how knackered he is at the end scale. New players of this game do struggle with the mechanics and generally try to bash their way through the guard in order to get the knockout. They don't realise that if your gloves even get the lightest tap on their gloves, then the hit doesn't count and it counts as a block. Also, there are certain spots that do allow you to score more damaging hits. You can recognise those by the yellow, orange and red hit markers. Blue hit markers indicate a hit that has caused no damage. Have you got many lessons tomorrow? Full day. Full day? Yeah. Yeah? Who you got? Um, four. Two so it's fine. I think you're struggling to have a conversation. <laughs> it's not quite as... Uh, end of the round. Can we just put the seat down? Are you alright? You almost was about to sit. <laughs> Is it legit there? Yeah, it's definitely there. Okay. Have you ever seen the video of Ronnie O'Sullivan when he tries to lean on the table? He's playing some virtual no, is snooker. It, like that's it's, it's a, <laughs> it is. It's a, just like that. How are you feeling after one round? One round. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty tiring. After a single three minute round, it was clear that Stu was finding it tough going. Only four more to go. Okay, come on. You pretty boy. Try to hit him in places to move his gloves down. 
and then get him where he's not guarding. Don't waste energy hitting his gloves. If you hit his gloves, like even a scrape, it doesn't count as a hit. What? You're down. Four, Ooh. Five, six, seven, eight. So have a breath, have a breath. Oh, you, should, you know what you should have got? A drink. <laughs> In the round. Oh, I don't sit down, don't sit down, don't sit down. Ah, How's your feeling? This virtual reality is amazing. <laughs> <sighs> Breathe. I need that break, mate. That's end of the second round, there's three more, yeah? How do you yeah. feel? I'm feeling it. So? I'm feeling tired. You can see how this could be a, a beneficial form of exercise, then. Oh, mate, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was sort of reckoning, oh, I'm just going to give it the beacon a little bit at the end of it, like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pretend I'm tired for hours now. <laughs> <laughs> Stu's knockdown in the second round meant he had an uphill struggle to win the fight. My scorecard has him trailing 19 to 18 with three rounds left. Without knowing the mechanics of the game to get a knockout at this difficulty level, he couldn't afford to go down again. He's definitely not replying as much. <laughs> oh, he's, he's winding it up. Because he's, he's becoming a cartoon. <laughs> wow. Why I order. You can do it. <laughs> I'm really, I am really for you now. I really want you to knock him out. Squat. <laughs> Three down, two left. That's six minutes of boxing. <coughs> you got this. He's an animal. <laughs> he's, he's over the hill. <laughs> Are the three of them out there? There's three of them out there. Hit the middle one! Come on, Stu. When you fought me, you had to hire the tiger. Hire the tiger, Stu. You can do it, Stu. After three rounds, it's obvious to all that this is a victory for VR. If he wasn't convinced now that you could use it for exercise, then, well, he's a liar. Because, look at him. But as I started to bask in virtual reality's glorious moment, watching Stu struggling to get his breath, something changed. Suddenly I realised I actually wanted him to win. I think I'm only going to get this on points if I get it at all. Yeah, well, he's got one round, 10-8. You'll have three rounds, 10-9, most likely. So you're kind of uh, one ahead, aren't you? One point ahead. So if you don't get knocked down this round, you'll win. If he knocks you down, he's going to win the round, win the match, win the fight. So don't get knocked down. Into the final round, and my scorecard has Stu a single point ahead. If he gets knocked down, he's going to lose. All he has to do is stay on his feet. As both fighters are looking tired now, and Ugly Joe cards, Stu C is slowing down, but can he make it through the last, last round? He's done 
four and a half. Rounds, can he make it? Well, he's looking tired there. His punches are labor, but all he's gotta do is stand his feet and he should have enough to win the fight. Yes, and but Ugly Joe is going for it. He is the only one with the knockdown right now. Can he force, can he force the knockdown to win the fight? I'm not sure about that, but there's a good hit from Stu there. That was good, let's see it. It's over. Over to the judges. Ladies and gentlemen, going to the scorecards, the judges have determined by unanimous decision, your winner is the red corner. I'm red corner. You're the red corner? <laughs> 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 well done. So you won by two points, I reckon. 10 9, 10 9, 10 9, 10 9, and he would have got 1 10 8. Can you walk right up to him? Yeah. I've never been able to do it. That's ace. After five exhausting rounds and a hard fought victory in the virtual ring, was our fitness fanatic now convinced of the benefits of VR? for exercise. So let's just um, remind ourselves of the comment that you left on the last video. What was it, you dubious of I the... Mean, I, was, I, was, I was genuinely a little bit like, um, come on, like I said earlier on, waggling around with your Wii controllers. Isn't it? And to be fair, the first game was a bit like that. The I mean, first game is 100% that. Racket NX I is am. a good game though, it's a fun game, but it's not exercise. It's a fun game in the same way that Wii Bowling was a fun game. But yeah. let's face it, you're going to eventually sling your remote through your telly or something <laughs> when you're not looking, and then ultimately you'd wish you'd have gone down to AMF Bowl and put your hand in sticky holes. That's just what it would have been, wouldn't it? The boxing one. Jeez, I don't know if you'll pick that up on the camera, but literally, I, I'm glistening, <laughs> and it's not just like... It's not, I thought it was baby oil, you're not, you're not getting ready for a bodybuilding I, competition. I, I, am, I am wet. <laughs> Very much. No, thank you. So that was, that was Stu C versus VR, and everyone's a winner, That's I reckon. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, mate. So there we have it. Not only do we have a convert to virtual reality, but we broke the fitness man and he came out on the other side a more enlightened individual. Welcome to the community, Stu. If you enjoyed that fitness challenge and you'd like to see others like it, do let me know in the comments. I do have some other interesting ideas. And also, please use the thumbs up button to get that video out there. I do believe that it's something that non-VR types should see. Also, I'd like to give a huge thanks to Stu for being a part of the video. I tried to make him out to be a bit of a big head, which he is to be fair, but he's also a very good mate of mine and a very good sport. So be nice to him in the comments, please. So I've been Al, he was Stu. Thanks for watching the VR Cauldron. Take care of yourselves, and I hope to see you next time. See ya. Level. 105% chin toughness. <laughs> what else have you done here? <laughs> he's, he's found us out, folks. Great scope!